What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how I made $1,360 on Upwork this week. For those who don't know me, I'm Lex DeVille and on this channel, we help people escape corporate prison and build a freelance empire. We share a lot of freelance and freelance writing tips and tutorials. So if you are new, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to share how I made $1,360 on Upwork this week. And it was actually a bit more because there was a client that isn't showing up on my profile yet. It won't show up until next week. So I actually almost doubled that because there's an extra $1,200 client that's going to be on there. And I didn't want to throw it out like that because I didn't have proof of that. But I do have proof of the $1,360. It's here, as you can see. So how did this happen? Well, it's really, really simple. And I'm going to put it to you like this. If you are someone who is sending template proposals, it's not going to happen for you. If you are someone who doesn't have skills, it's not going to happen for you. But uh, if you are someone who, you know, tries to help people and has the basics of your skill down and is willing to go out there and apply to gigs, then you're going to be able to make this happen for you. And the three key tips, I think, that really helped me to do this. And I, I want to preface this by saying my profile over the last couple of months, I was building up uh, getting article writing gigs, low pay article writing gigs, so that I could produce my article writing course. And I wanted to have more experience in that area and not so much in copywriting, which is what I normally do. So I took all these article writing gigs and you can see here that my profile reflected that. So I had all these low paying jobs in here. And one of the challenges I find that most freelancers ask either when they're getting started or when they're considering raising their rates up is that you say, well, why would anyone pay me higher rates? Or if I start out with these low rates, why, how am I going to get to higher rates later on? Whenever my profile only shows these low rates, clients are going to say this and this and this. Clients aren't going to want to pay higher rates. Well, that's a bunch of bull crap. And this is proof of it because I had nothing but these lower rates showing up in my profile from the last several months. So let me know your thoughts if that's something you've ever dealt with down in the comments below. But for now, here's my thoughts on this. I went out and having my profile set like that, I raised my rates at first to $89 an hour and then to $135 an hour. And with these, I applied to these gigs. And these were all brand new clients. I've never met any of them before. So I was sending, you know, competitive proposals just like I would for any other client. And focusing on what the client wanted and what they needed. And this is you focus. If you look back through my videos, you'll find my you focus videos, you'll find it everywhere I talk on the internet about having a you focus. All I did was focused on the clients what they needed, and showing how I am the right person to give them that how I would help them get that thing. And in doing so it got their attention. I didn't talk about myself or my degrees. I just talked about what they needed and how I would help them get that done. And by doing that, I stood out, they contacted me. And then we did some other things like some of the times we got on a call, I didn't get a call on a call for all of these. But I got on a call for some of them. And those that I got on a call for, we closed at higher rates and those that I didn't, well, my value was already proven to them. So this is a combination of factors here. It's one, showing the client that you care Two, focusing on the client and not yourself. Three, having a pro a profile that backs you up a strong profile. And four, being willing to get on a call and talk to these people and just make yourself valuable. And that's really it. That's, that's what you have to do to win on Upwork. And this is all just one week, you can, you can multiply it out if you want, you can multiply it just by the numbers here. If you multiply that by four, it's 5000 something per month, which ends up being a $65,000 per year uh, salary. Well, technically, you'd have to keep pulling in new clients, but I'm just showing you the numbers. If you doubled it and add on the 1200 gig that I will have on there next week, then you have over $10,000 in a month. Point is, it can be done, but you have to change your mindset a little bit. I think the other one thing that I wanted to mention that holds a lot of people back from making this happen is that you simply don't take enough work, you stop yourself like you get one or two clients. And then you're like, I don't think I can handle anymore. But you can you can handle more. If I can handle five or six clients, when I have to watch a baby all day when I have screaming in my ears all day, and I only have like an hour in the morning to get work done, then you can handle way more clients than what you think you can. And when you start to do that, and when you start to take these clients, and when you start to ask for what you want, and when you start to operate as a commanding and powerful freelancer, 
then you're going to start to get higher rates. You're going to start to make more money and you're going to start to be able to turn this into a full-time gig for you if that's what your goal is. So I just wanted to drop in and say, this is what I did. This is how I did it. Hopefully this helps you and you find this valuable in some way. That's all I got for this one. I'm Lex DeVille. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.